Hey family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Carenza Amanda. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. So if you're interested in personal finance, budgeting, saving, and of course my favorite, cash stuffing, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be cash stuffing my September 2021 paycheck number two. I will be cash stuffing my variable expenses envelopes as well as my high priority and low priority sinking funds. So we're going to be doing a total stuffing of $600 plus $80 for my 100 envelope challenge. So in total, $680 will be cash stuff today. So let's get started on my cash envelopes. So this is the first time I'm gonna be using my Kate Spade Wellesley Planner Organizer as a budget binder on camera. If you are interested in knowing more about this binder slash organizer please be sure to look at my previous video i will link it down below so you guys could see a review of it okay so if you wanted to know i had a few things that i added to my new budget binder so i purchased this really cute k can you guys see that yeah i purchased this really cute k keychain on amazon.com i just really wanted to just decorate it just to you know make it a little more fun and then I also added my new envelope to the bank, which is going to be any money that I need to deposit back into the bank. I also have my cash breakdown sheet where I actually got from, I think it's Pink's Budget. Yes, I got it from Pink's Budget. And I can link this down below as well. So let's get started on how much money I have left. I only have a few dollars left really not much but you know what i'll take it i feel like this month has been a little bit challenging like with my spending but i'm happy for every win and then i added this cute little divider just to separate my to the bank envelope from my regular cash envelopes so we're gonna start with miscellaneous let's see how much miscellaneous has left so let's see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six dollars left for miscellaneous. These six dollars is gonna go towards my one dollar savings challenge. So I'm gonna put that to the side for now. And then I did have a little money left over in gas. I have five dollars left in gas. So this five dollar bill is gonna go towards my five dollar savings challenge. So I'm going to put that in here. And what I do is I put the money in here temporarily until I end up putting it in my $1 and $5 savings jar. How are you guys doing? What is going on? I hope everyone is doing good. How are you guys doing with your saving and budgeting, your sinking funds? I know some of you do electronic sinking funds. I do that as well. Currently, I'm doing my Christmas fund as an electronic sinking fund, so I really like that. Um, so we're gonna start with cash stuffing my variable expenses. Okay, so let's see. I have 600, so let's see, I have 150. 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So I have $600 here. So we're going to start with cash stuffing $600 to my variable expenses. And 
And then afterwards, we'll cash stuff my 100 envelope challenge. How many, wait, how many fives did I have? No, I know I had more fives than that. At least I thought I did. Maybe I did not. Okay. I thought I had more fives than that. I guess I'm bugging. Let me double check. Well, we'll find out at the end. Let's see. Okay. So I know this five is here. Actually, I'm going to put this five in the front since it's by itself. And the rest I know are singles. Okay. So miscellaneous is going to get $20. So it's going to be a $20 bill. Next is going to be gas. Gas is going to get its usual $80. So that's going to be four 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80. It's weird. It's like I'm working from home, but I don't drive as much. But sometimes I still feel like I spend a lot of money on gas because gas prices are through the roof. Okay. Groceries is going to get 120 Usually I give it a hundred dollars, but this time I want to up it a little bit only because there's some other things like condiments and certain things that I need to buy. And I know that's going to bring my grocery budget up. So I'm going to give it six $20 bills. Make sure I have that together. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20. I really wish I would have more money left over from groceries after shopping. I feel like I'm always spending on my grocery money, but I just feel like groceries in general has gone up in prices. So I know that has a lot to do with it. So next I'm going to be cast up in laundry. Laundry is going to get $20 and it's going to be two tens. And then when, with laundry, I always feel like I'm always doing laundry. I feel like laundry is just something that always happens. And I just like having clean clothes all the time. Like, literally, I don't like to see a hamper full of dirty clothes. So laundry always has to be done. Next is hair. Hair is going to get $30. So that's going to be $120. Going to be $15 and five singles. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, I definitely should have more fives than that. I don't know why. I feel like I counted more fives. Let me double check. So 150. Hmm. These are all the 20s. These are all the tens. I feel like I'm losing it. These are all the ones. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Nails is going to get $80. So that's going to be three 20s. Okay. Nine 20s. And it's going to be one ten and 10 singles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 20, 40, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. 80. Okay. So that concludes my variable expenses spending. Oh my God, I love this little pen loop. I love putting my little rose gold pink-ish diamond pen in here. I just think it goes so well with the color on the inside. Okay, next we're gonna be moving on to my high priority sink and buttons. So we're going to start with baby. Baby is supposed to get $25, but I feel like I don't have enough singles. Excuse me. I don't have enough fives for some reason. I feel like I'm losing it. I don't know what is going on today. I guess I'm winging it. <laughs> I 
guess I'm winging it as far as baby. Okay, baby's supposed to get 25, but for now I'm gonna stuff a 20. So we're gonna put 20 in baby. So right now, let's see how much a baby has. I'm gonna add this 20. Baby has 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310, 320, 330, 335, 340, 345, 350. So baby now has $350. And baby actually will be transferred to electronic. Um, I decided that I'm going to change this to more of a digital sink and fund because it is something that I really want to save for for my future and I don't need it to be top priority right this second. So to give more focus to my other sinking funds, I'm going to switch this to my digital sinking funds, um, which I already have Christmas doing that. So it just works out better for me. I'm also going to be doing that for savings, which is in the back, which is for my future wedding. I feel like I can do this digitally and still be very effective. So next is car maintenance. Car maintenance will not be getting anything because I already met that goal and I did deposit the money into my savings account. So this is two $100 slips. Next is clothes. Clothes is going to get $10. So that's going to be a $10 bill. So let's see how much clothes has. And I did take money out of clothes because I did do a little clothes shopping. So I am starting um, somewhat over to get to my $500 goal. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. So right now we have 110 in clothes. And I feel like I could get back to a good place with clothes. It was at in the 300s. Wait, let me double check that. Yeah, it was at 310. I feel like I can get back plus more in no time. So I'm really not worried because I was able to get like a few things um, last weekend. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm caught up a little bit with my fall clothes. Um, just a little bit more to go. I really don't want to overspend, but I also want to make sure I have essentials. So next is debt. Debt is going to be getting $100. So that's going to be this nice crispy $100 bill. I'm so excited. My goal was a thousand for debt. So I actually am making my goal right now. I am so excited. So let's see. I did put money in the bank already. So the remaining money will go into my bank account and I will be paying a credit card bill with this. In the meantime, in the interim, I will be putting a 1k slip into that cash envelope. So let's double check. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 840, 860, 870, 880, 890, 895, 900, 905. I think I miscounted. I don't know what is going on with me today. Let me see. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 800. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 900. So this is 1,000. Okay, so this money is going into the bank. This 1,000 is going into the bank. And I'm taking out the 100 slips. And I'm putting in this 1K slip. This is my first, first time doing a 1K slip. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And of course, you guys see it's pink. <laughs> okay, so give is not going to get anything um, for this video. And I'm actually thinking about doing give separately. Um, give is a portion of my tithes as well as me helping someone in need. So I'm thinking about doing that off camera. I'm still debating, but I need to figure out, you know, what will be best for me. So next is Carenza. Carenza is not getting anything. I'm going to be starting Carenza next month. So I'm really excited about that. Last but not least for high priority is um, savings. And that's going to get $15. 
So I don't know what is going on with my change. I'm weighing it right now. So I'm actually just going to give it a $10 bill. So let's see where we are. So we have how much now with savings? So we have 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, 35, 340, 345 is in savings. And again, this is going to be transferred to digital as of next month. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I feel like electronic is also a great option for certain sinking funds. Or maybe all, just depending on, you know, what works best for you. Um, I hope you guys noticed my new dashboard, um, Stay Humble and Hustle Hard. It's just something to help me stay motivated on this journey. And then for this one, I also added a really cute green divider. It kind of reminds me of money, so I just thought it would be really cute for my new high-priority um, budget binder. Okay. So next we're gonna move on to a low priority. So low priority, we're gonna start with beauty. Beauty is going to be getting, let's see, looking at my cheat sheet. Beauty is going to get, we're gonna do $30. So we're gonna do 120 and one. Okay, so actually beauty is getting 30. And I am at 195 with beauty. So next we're gonna be moving on to date night. Date night, I fulfilled that goal of $200 and I did deposit that in the bank. So I put in these 100 slips to let me know that they are deposited. Gifts is not getting anything. Next is gonna be self-care. Self-care, I deposited that as well. I met that goal a while ago, deposited that as well. I just love when I make the goals that I set out for myself, even if they're small goals, I feel like every win deserves a celebration, especially on this personal finance journey. You have to be very understanding that life happens. You know what I mean? You never know what is going to happen. So you have to be very mindful that you are doing your best and what you are doing is setting the tone for your path to financial wellness and financial greatness. So next is taxes. Taxes will be getting a $20 bill. So let's see where we are with taxes. I'm so excited because I'm on my way to reaching my $200 goal with taxes. So let's add this 20. So let's see, we have 50. 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So we're at 185 with taxes. So excited for that. And then last but not least for my low priority is vacay. Vacay is going to be getting a $50 bill. So I did end up doing a mini bill exchange off camera for vacay just so that the envelope won't be so stuffed. Okay, so let's see, we have 100, 150, 200, 50, 40, 90. We have 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. This is 400. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have $420 in vacay. I'm so excited because my goal is 1000 so I am getting there. So happy for that. I swear every dollar amount counts. And the consistency and... Just the drive and motivation to keep going is just unbelievable. Okay, so next we have our spending. 
excuse me, our saving. I don't know why I'm thinking about spending. I think I want to go shopping. <laughs> Next, we have our 100 envelope challenge savings. So I will be cash stuffing two envelopes. I'm not going to bring the whole box. I'm just going to bring the two envelopes that I'm stuffing. I will be stuffing $80. And I have this $10 bill left over. I realized I made a mistake with my denominations. It's my first time, which is very interesting because I'm really winging it right now. So I'm just going to put this to the side for now. We're going to be cash stuffing $80 into these envelopes. So I did separate the money and it's just easier for me. I did separate the money just so that I don't confuse myself. I know that sounds weird, but the way my brain operates sometimes, it just works out better for me <laughs> this way. Okay, so we're going to start with $26. So I'm going to put in $120, $15, and $100. Single. This challenge is so cool. I mean, I wish I would have thought of it a long time ago. Next, we're going to stuff $54. So that's going to be the remaining funds. So that's one $50 bill and then these four singles. So that's 50, 1, 2, 3, 54. I am looking for my highlighter, which seems to have disappeared. I like to highlight slash color in what I've been saving. And I can't seem to find it for whatever reason. But I will color in 26 and 54 off camera. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. I know today was a long video. I usually try to keep it at least under 20 minutes, but life happens. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time, be safe.